just outside the ten ring from Pukau there. And there is the ten, I think, from Jonas. Could be marked with a star or a nine. And that is also very close. But a nine. It only has to touch the line to be the higher point. And that is a nine. So can Pukau take a one point lead here with a ten? He cannot. Very close group though from Pukau and it would be amazing if one of these arrows will not be marked up. And that is again just outside for Buko. And that is also amazing that the fur the middle arrow from Jonas last round was not a ten. But there is the ten must be yep there it is as Johannes shoots an 8 which is not a good timing as Pukau has found the 10 finally so 28-26 So 27 for for Pukau in this last round, but we are here in the third round. And an eight for Jonas. A nine. Jonas Carls ends with a twenty seven there. I think that is a mistake. No, that is not. The Jonas card starting round number four. Nine from Jonas. Another nine for Puka there, so nine nine now. Time to finish here for Jonas Karl. Very important arrow. So can Pukau level this round again? 
he cannot. And that is just inside the nine, I think. Asper marked as an eight with an asterisk, so. So, Jonas starts. Tens are important here. And that is what he delivers. A ten in the first arrow. Or a nine. Or nice to see. As Puka puts it in comfortably in the ten ring. But that is an eight from Jonas. Needs a 10 here to put some pressure on Pukau. And that is a 7 to win. And take the bronze. And puts it in the 9 or a 10. Could be a 10. And that is Pukau taking the taking the bronze. But we have some errors to confirm, but that is uh, confirmed now, I don't think. Some errors. And that is the confirmation from the judge.